At Highland Hill Farm, we grow many different kinds of trees, but predominantly we grow a lot of arborvitaes. And right beside me here is a good example of a green giant. Now this green giant here has a has an issue, and we're going to correct it today. The issue that it has, it has two leaders to itself. There's one leader right here, and another leader right here. And we do not like double leaders or secondary leaders on any of our arborvitaes. Mostly because as this tree gets older and it gets bigger, when it experiences a snow load or an ice load, the tree tends to break apart, and it tends to break apart in that direction. So if we keep it like this, it will probably have a problem later on in its life. What we do when we find a tree like this and we want to correct it, we usually take our falcos or any type of cutters that you have, and we go over and we trim down the leader. It depends on a lot of circumstances on where you want to trim it, how you want to trim it. But for something like this, we'll probably do a fairly hard trim on this one. Kind of, we'll probably go about right here. Now, just because I trim that there does not mean every trim tree that you see with a double leader should be trimmed this hard. But just because, this is how I want mine to be done. Now, since we still have this part right here, this is still going to be the main leader. That's what we want but this can still grow off as an offshoot. So we'll just trim that just a tiny bit to encourage this to grow up more. And now we also have this little guy right here we have to take care of. That's a crossing branch and we need to get rid of crossing branches. That would be another video. But all right, now we have our secondary leader trimmed both here and there. It could still grow up to be another leader mostly because of these branches through here, but predominantly that's fairly good. And that is the structural pruning that we'll do for this. And if you had the chance and you didn't worry about it growing, it had to be fast growing, you would probably go through and shear it down to an angle to help fill in and not have a big weak spot right here. But that is the, my way, the way I like to have the secondary leaders reduced, not completely cut out, but reduced. If you had a spruce tree or a pine tree, I would recommend cutting it out completely. But this is our provider and I will just reduce it on our provider. Uh, this here, this is another green giant, same one we just did. And this one, I would say, is growing correctly. It has one single leader coming up. That's the dominant. It's going to take all the brunt and load of all the different winds and snows and ice loads that could ever possibly happen to it. Whenever those loads come on, it'll be equally weighted on both sides of the tree. So I would very much like this tree. This tree here, has the same problem as the first tree did. This tree has a secondary leader growing up. So again, we'll probably go back and just reduce it. And I'm probably going to reduce this one to right about there. And then we'll also reduce this guy just a tiny bit. Doesn't mean that we're completely finished with it. It just means that it's good to go for another couple of years. We may have to come back and do another one. Another trimming on this one. And this guy here, this is Another tree that has a secondary leader coming up onto it. To be honest with you, this is just a good section that we have in the field with secondary leaders growing on. Predominantly, Green Giant does not have the secondary leader, but this one does. And you just have to keep an eye on it. You can see this one probably was trimmed at another earlier point for it, but you can see how it reshoots, and this is a good example of you have to come back and still take a look at it. So we'll just do it again, same thing. We'll reduce this cut, and we'll just reduce this one here and we should be fairly much good to go for this branch for a while. We also see here this actually may become a secondary leader too even though it's just a branch. So we'll probably just go through and just dip this one there and that's all that we need to do basically. Again if I had head shears I would probably shear it a little bit just to try to knock it back into shape. And that, that's how we take care of our, our trees here. And that's a pretty good one right there, right Mike? That is very good structurally, I would say. And that's what you're shooting for? A single leader, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. You're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA, and we do deliver and install our green giants and other screening and buffering trees. Call us at 215-651-8329 with your questions or if you need trees. Thank you. Give us a call at Highland Hill Farm for your trees and shrubs. 215-651-8329. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. Thank you.